and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to another episode of Eric Wade Whiskey Studies, and this is round one in which I will be doing a competition of three Isla 10 year old single malt scotch whiskeys. In this corner, I have the Ardbeg 10, aged in ex bourbon cask, ungeal filtered, natural color, bottled at 46% alcohol by volume, and selling anywhere between $46 and $55. And in this corner, I have the Laphroaig 10 year old, also aged in ex bourbon cast, bottled at 40% if you're buying a bottle in the UK, 43% if you're buying a bottle in the United States, sells anywhere between $40 and $55. Now, these are probably the two closest competitors on Isla because they're both 10 year olds, both uh, ex a bourbon cask and price wise they're fairly close however the peat on this is probably going to be one of the major differences in how you like the peat now both of these bottles have been open for a while uh the ardbeg 10 this is my third ardbeg 10 it's about half full half empty depending on you're an optimist or a pessimist this one is about right here so it's had a little bit more exposure i've gone through three bottles of ardbeg now that telling you this is still my first bottle of ardbeg at the fork 10. now as much as possible i have to put aside my prejudices because i do have a leaning towards ardbeg if you've been watching me for a while you already know that but there are other issues to take into consideration uh, availability perhaps you might want to take that in consideration in terms of purchase uh, price the Ardenbeg 10 has been creeping up a little bit I've seen more and more around the $55 range still seeing the Lafroy at a lower price range now of course if you're buying a bottle in the UK you're getting that slightly lower ABV now it could also be a matter of preference at the time in which you're, you're you're trying something there could be a day in which you're more leaning towards Ardbeg and may, maybe another day you're leaning a little bit more towards Laphroaig but this is mostly for fun but also I've actually never in a single sitting had these two by two side by side I've always had them completely separate so let's begin all right I'm going to start with the Ardbeg 10. now color wise it is clearer it is lighter in color that has that sort of lemon lime in color. The Laphroaig has sort of a, you know, that copper bronze color may have some coloring in it. The Laphroaig is not labeled as being unchillfoldered or an, of natural color. Now, if you have a personal um, prejudice against that, that might also lean you more towards the Ardbeg. But the primary factor that I will be considering is my personal preference for the aromas and flavors, the development, the finish, and so forth. So while all that information is in the back of my mind, right, and I have a personal affection for Ardbeg, I am, as much as possible, going to give Laphroaig its fair due in this competition. All right, let's get into it. So on the nose, comparing the two fruit-wise, the Ardbeg is fresher, a little bit more fruity. The Laphroaig is a little bit more medicinal, a little bit more seaweed. It has seemingly a more oceanic influence. They're both equally salty. And in terms of the intensity of the smoke and peat, in terms of at where the bottles are at now, they're pretty similar. Uh, the PPM for Ardbeg and Laphroaig probably around 50 ppm but of course how ppm affects the palate depends on where the cuts are made and the distillation process just because a barley starts out at a 50 ppm or 40 ppm or some other level doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be reflected in the final product nice lemon nice lime 
it has a slight sweeter note. There's also a little bit uh, that it reminds me of a sort of the uh, lime otter pops, maybe a little bit of green apple. I would say definitely, even though they're both 10 year olds, the youth on the Ardbeg shows through a little bit more than it does than the Laphroaig. I think the Laphroaig peat and smoke does a better job of masking the youth on that just a little bit better. The Laphroaig is a little bit more savory. I would say a little bit more of the barbecue character, whereas the Ardbeg is a little bit more fresh in terms on the fruit. All right, on the palate. Really, really nice. Let's drink some water. I prefer water as a palate cleanser or a neutral sparkling water. Sparkling water um, does a really, really good job. I don't like mineral water for a, as a palate cleanser because that mineral character is gonna re remain on the palate. Some might use neutral crackers. You don't wanna use anything other than a water cracker, the most neutral of crackers. But even crackers, um, the starch can turn to sugar in your palate and make something seem sweeter than it actually is. So again, I would prefer just water. All right, the Lafroy on the palate. I'm gonna take another sip. Mm. Ardbeg, and we're talking about nuances here. Ardbeg, a little bit more chocolate character. Lafroy, a little bit more savory. A little more barbecue, a little more meatier. And a, more of a dark chocolate, well this is more of a lighter chocolate. Wow, this is tough. I didn't think it would be this difficult. I actually was really concerned that my prejudice towards Ardbeg would just push me easily into Ardbeg 10. But the Laphroaig is really, really, really nice. On the palate, if I was doing this blind without any other information, I might go more towards Laphroaig, but taking into consideration other factors, the price point, unchill filtered, no coloring, and I do like that fruit character of the Ardbeg, I'm gonna lean just a hair. I mean, it's really, 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 really close. Really, really close. I'm gonna lean towards Ardbeg. I'm gonna go towards Ardbeg over the Laphroaig. But tasted blind, it could be completely different. But doing blind tasting by yourself, particularly if it's just two whiskeys, it was really, really challenging. And because the color difference, even if someone else poured these for me, I would immediately recognize the frog is that darker color because it probably uses a little bit of E150. So if I'm gonna go score for score, I'm saying like, we're talking one or two point difference between the two. So I'm gonna give this uh, round one to the Ardbeg 10 to go on to the next round in this three round competition between three Isla 10 year old single malt scotch whiskeys. Alrighty, that's it for this competition, this round of this competition. If you subscribe to this channel, I wanna thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my reviews, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking channels. And until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos. Y'all ready for this?